top 10 anime betrayals. Bulk element. Zuko and Sokka on cactus juice. Zuko, giggling. Suki, Sokka likes you. Sokka, Zuko, you said you wouldn't tell. Suki, Sokka, honey, we are merry. Sokka, backstabber. I'm gonna tell my you like her. Zuko, gasps. Sokka, my, Zuko has a crush on you. My holding baby Izumi, really? I would have never known. My hope then is that Korra died an old lady after having lived a wonderful long life with a Sammy. That's the only way I can accept her doubt. Amazing. I can't believe you were friends with Monk Jayatso, just like I was. Some friendships are so strong. They can even transcend lifetimes. I finally understand what Guru Pathak meant when he said, the greatest illusion of this world is the illusion of separation. Things you think are separate and different are actually one and the same. We are all one people, but live as if divided. All nations share the same symbol, but yet they added onto it differently. I never realized it until now, so if you guys already knew this, then I'm sorry I was slow. The thing I love about Ahn and Sokka's friendship is that they're both very smart and clever and capable individually, but you put them alone in a room together, and they immediately become the definition of the my last two brain cells meme. My airbenders won't be part of an unproved attack. The Fire Nation has spent too much of its history fighting nonsense wars, and I refuse to drag my nation into another one, unless there's no other choice. Book 3 Sokka would beat the shut out of Book 1 Sokka for disrespecting women. It's good character development. Katara, it's time for you and your generation to take on the responsibility of keeping peace and balance in the world. Tough, my fighting days are over. At some point, you gotta leave it to the kids. Zuko, honor. This is canon now actually. Random HC. At Katarang's wedding, there's this stunning ice sculpture of the two of them, because why the duck not, and everyone kinda assumed that Ung or Katara or some other waterbender made it, but it was actually Sokka who sat there carving it for hours upon hours, and Katara cries when she finds out. Just a friendly reminder that dogs are canon. No, I don't mean polar bear dogs or deer dogs, just dogs. I always thought Prince Zuko was in a training accident. You're not a prince, you're an outcast. His own father burned and disowned him. Breaking, Avatar Studios has found its animation studio. Flying Bark, Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie, Marvel Studios What If, will animate the 2D Avatar films coming to theaters starting 2024, the first of which follows the gang as young adults. when you correct the teacher's statement on a historical event, because you were literally there. I wanna bring up Iros' infamous line she's crazy, and she needs to go down. Cause I know it's not exactly a popular line in the fandom, and it's where a lot of people accuse Iros of showing favoritism, or that he's not as good a guy as we all thought. But I feel like people forget, up to this point, Zuko had never tried to mirror him, Ira had literally just awoken from the near mortal wound Azula had dealt him, so I think he was entitled to being pretty passed off. People say that he should have treated Azula the same way he treated Zuko, but how would he even do that, when she spent the entire season trying to hunt them down and kill them? Like, what other option did Ira have at this point? I feel like the fandom thinks Ira is supposed to be some kind of prophet, but he is, yeah no, a human being. I don't think he was about to die for Azula's sins. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. I don't know. I mean seriously. What's with you people? I'm blind. I'm re-watching Avatar. The last airbender from the beginning. And one of the links I'm using is from nick.com. Where they put in fun facts about the characters and the voice actors and stuff into the episode. I'm watching the Warriors of Kyoshi, and there's this scene where Zuko goes, nice try, Avatar, but these little girls can't save you, and this is the fun fact the writers put in. Untrue. Little girls can do anything they put their minds to. 
You heard the princess. Raise the anchor. We are taking the prisoners home. Can't believe we had a whole season without these two. Anonymous theory number 4. Tencent states that in Chief Soccer and Ton Rock all defeated Zaheer when Korra was a child. We know Sokka died when Korra was a couple of years old, so that could have been the battle they were talking about. I have a theory that the Red Lotus were probably the ones that Keldor injured him. Scamming people is wrong, and doing it draws too much attention to the group. If Toph could see, and also knew the plot of the water bending scroll, she'd be very upset. I can't believe Barta Jr. was basically siding with the villain. The villain. Why did they have to do Sokka so dirty? Katara, a member of the water tribe and sister of Sokka. She's been gifted with the power to bend water. Sokka, Katara's brother. Extremely missed opportunity to not show Katara and Sokka reacting to seeing a field for the first time. Katara like holy duck, green, everywhere green, and Sokka being like now hang on, the everywhere green might be dangerous proceed with caution. Meanwhile Katara and Ang are already rolling, like twin barrels down a hill shrieking with utter glee. Eventually Sokka concedes that the everywhere green is kind of beautiful, actually, and that is the exact moment he steps in a patch of poison ivy. Next time you get in my way, I promise, I won't hold back. Take my hand. I've already said it a lot on my blog, but, as always, no matter how many times Zuko treatens extreme blunts, again, trying to fit in with the social norms of the Fire Nation, he can't because of his moral compass. We're looking for someone. I hope it's not Miyuki. Miyuki, did you get in trouble? With the Fire Nation again. See the difference between Zuko and Azula is that, if you take away Azula's bending, she'll cry. But if you take away Zuko's bending, he'll just stab you. You think freedom is something that you can give or take on a whim, but to your people, freedom is just as essential as air and without it, there is no life. Zaheer. Him, I can fix her. Her. You ever wonder how Chan looked back on the events of the beach? You invite the most attractive girl on the beach to your party, and she brings along her friends. They arrive really early, and you get weird vibes from one of the girls, but you shrug it off. The party goes well, and you are able to share an intimate moment with the weird girl, and start to get an inkling of attraction. Then the girl starts talking cuckoo bananas, and you kick her, and the friends out. Then they come back an hour later, and full on ransack your place. Getting revenge on random Fire Nation civilians. Helping other waterbenders escape prison. Fly me to the moon, let me kick its ducking ace. Let me show it what I learned in my moon jujitsu class. Remember Ahn from Avatar, the last airbender, this is him now. Feel old yet. Maybe I like being bad? Azula needs a redemption arc. That's the tweet. Azula, you need a redemption arc. I know what it feels like. It feels good, the power, everything. But you'll lose yourself. Let him go. I like being bad. It makes me happy. I rock. So Toph, what are your goals in life? Toph, I've been banned from every major city's transportation system except Omishu. Toph, I don't know what their limit is, but I will ducking find it. King Boomy, having exactly zero limits. Thinking about when they were gonna trade King Boomy for Tom Tom. And then Mei was like that's not fair, the deal's off. Girl that's your brother. What brings you to my harbor? Our ship is being repaired. That's quite a bit of damage. Yes, you wouldn't believe what happened. Uncle, tell commanders all what happened. I used to think that Zuko being awkward was shown more when he turned over a leaf and joined Team Avatar. But I'm being reminded from re-watching the show that no, Zuko was always awkward. Ira face tells me. The man you're going to marry, Aunt Wu, I can see that he a very powerful bender. As a matter of fact, Sokka eventually tried it. Fun. We can't fight firebenders with fun. 
you should try it sometime. Clears throat. Attention, crew. This is your captain speaking. Perhaps you relied on my master's vow against using lethal force. Let me assure you that I subscribe to no such niceties. Today I'm sad about that one line from the creator's commentary about how Zuko is a Tsungi horn prodigy in the little letter Zuko, aged 7, sends Iron Legacy of the Fire Nation where he very politely requests that Iroh come home and teach him Peisho tricks because that casts such a different light on their interactions in book 1. It was never Iroh trying to push his own favorite things, Peisho and Music Night, on an uninterested Zuko. It was Iroh desperately trying to reconnect with Zuko by recreating the activities he knows Zuko used to enjoy. Zuko, aged 7, once begged Iroh to come home and play board games with him, and now Zuko wants nothing to do with him, and you know that eats Iroh up alive. Now tell me, who is it? Who's the waterbender? It's my daughter Katara. If you hurry, you can catch her before she reaches her father. I sort of wish that they would make a story or something about the second avatar. I mean that must have been strange as duck to be like, 8 and you're bending all the element and no one can give you a reasonable explanation other than this dude named one used to do that. Second avatar doing the talking to your past lives thing for the first time. Whoa, what is going on? Literally just one. Alone. You're asking the questions I wish I knew the answers to, buddy. They were probably really close. Thinking about it? This is a really classic setup of a chosen one kid and their weird spirit companion figuring out the ropes as they go alone. I would watch the hell out of this. Second avatar. I made fire. What? Yeah, I see that. But, second avatar. No look. I made fire. What? Yes, I see that. And it's in your house. Second avatar. What? You remember that water trick we were just talking about? That would be really useful right about now. I agree. This city needs you. I think it needs us. Let's get out of here. Good idea. Imagine being Ursa. Getting your memories back to see your half of your son's face being scarred and burned by your husband and your daughter being broken and hating you. Are we gonna ignore how these guards tried to kill their crown princess to keep their no prison escapes record? Old art I never finished or posted, for obvious reasons. It's what he would want. Only half of your friends actually like you. Science reveals. Azula, with two friends. Adult life tip. Do not buy a cabbage, unless you have one of the following. 1. A recipe that uses a whole cabbage. 2. 200 recipes that use some cabbage. 3. A desire to waste an entire half cabbage. 4. A desire to aid your local cabbage merchant who's struggling financially because so much of their crop was destroyed in a series of bizarre incidents involving a 12 year old martial artist. Scientists, we discovered that there is iron in our blood. Tough. Zuko, I know who killed your mother and I can help you find him. Katara, finally. Zuko, okay. I'm gonna go get Appa ready, we leave at dusk. Katara, no. We leave in 5 days. The night before the full moon. Zuko, uh, may I ask why? Katara, and no questions asked. 5 nights later. Nothing just inverted Zuko. Sozin was your father's grandfather. Your mother's grandfather was Avatar Oku. Ung actor in season 1. Ung actor in season 2, if it ever happens. These two have the same voice actor. Judy me boy you've been invited by the king of Bar Sing Say to visit Lake Leo Gaga 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 Gaga. Sapphire Fire and Wang Fire. 
Imagine you are 15 years old taking your little sister to the grocery store because your dad is busy and your grandmother is old and you need food. As you turn a corner, you accidentally ram your shopping cart into God with a capital G and he promises to show you the world you've never seen from inside the 10 square miles of your hometown in exchange for your company. You hate the risk, but your demigod sister has untapped potential and an unrelenting determination to get ghost, so you follow God with a capital G through heaven and hell and back. God with a capital G is 12 and wiser than even your grandmother and treats everything like a game, and he's your brother now and suddenly you would and have and will kill and die for him. Your first love becomes a different god and you add her name to the list of things. Your childhood, your vulnerability, your parents, your safety. You don't have the time to grieve right now or ever and you become a man on foreign soil and your dad isn't there to see it. You are 15 and god with a capital G's best friend and your little sister sisters now are the most powerful demigods on the planet and you are the only one keeping three divine tweens focused on saving the world and you are still not allowed to say duck. Really? Since you're a full-blown traitor now, and you want me gone, why wait? I'm powerless. You've got your swords. Why don't you just do it now? Okay. Written and directed by George Lucas. Some of the worst choices made by characters in Avatar The Last Airbender. Zuko decides he's going to leave the Fire Nation to join Team Avatar. Sneaks out when he knows no one will be around to see him pack, leaves a breakup text for Mai to find after the invasion, and takes every measure to make sure no one will follow him when he leaves. Zuko kicks in the door to his dad's throne room. Listen up Butch. Lord. Imagine little Cora's reaction to finding out Sokka died. She probably entered the Avatar state due to the heavy emotions, but it wasn't her pain, sadness, and tears. It was Aang's. Please ancestors. I need your guidance. Flopping noises. Ah. Too far back. Kiyoshi. I think I would like to hear him out. I just realized. This isn't just a fight between Zuko and Azula. This is the final battle between Fire Lord Sozin and Avatar Aku. Through their great grandchildren. Never Bonner forget Sokka seeing Tylee, his enemy, and deciding to flout instead of running away. Wow Asala, you were right. It is the Avatar. And friends. Hey. Zuko, Izumi, you are old enough now. I think it is time we have the talk. Izumi, Dad, no. I already know where kids come from. We really do not have to do this. Zuko, Zuko, oh. No I do not mean that kind of talk. I mean the a lot people in your family are actually war criminals talk. So, it all started with your great great grandfather Sozin who may not be the greatest, but some of the most impressive feats in the Avatar universe. To be honest, if the Earth Nation was more ambitious, they could have conquered the world, and in less time than the Fire Nation. But all they wanted to do was leave peacefully in their walls, watch some pro wrestling, and enjoy their cabbages. The fact that this is official art is killing me. The legend of Korra making almost every single member of the original team avatar a complete loser or failed parent is some advanced bullshit that I can't believe they got away with. Someone please put that koi fish back in the Northern Water Tribes pond. Uh, hey, what about me? When do I get to pick? Soccer, you've got to work here a little longer before you're qualified for vacation time. 2005 to 2008, 2010, 2024. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They are the same picture. How can an adult be obsessed with a cartoon show like this lol? Grow up and watch The Wire or something. Like damn. I will be vindicated when people see that Avatar is just the different side of the same coin as Harry Potter. 
we are going to steal the moon. My girlfriend turned into the moon before being squidnapped by some guy with a big nose and who sounded like Steve Carroll. That's rough, buddy. Dad's going to kill you. Really, he is. Azala. Shh. Don't ruin the surprise. TL cleanse. Baby soccer still being the brave boomerang guy but tinier. Azala. Ah. Tylee. How I eternally feel after leaving that one slow class. I might not look it, but I'm 112 years old. One time, I forgot what Ang's name was, so I called him down vote K Lao. Everyone knew who I was talking about. Avatar The Last Airbender. Avatar The Last Airbender. If Zuko knew all he had to do was grab the collar of Ang's shirt. But everything changed when the Procurasty Nation attacked. I drink tea because General Irock. Ah, I see you're a man of culture as well. POV. You thought 18 would win, but the other team won at the last second. The universe just loves proving me wrong, doesn't it? Gravity. Discovered in 1687. People in 1686. I laugh at gravity all the time. Haha, ha, gravity. Seven year old me, after creating a whirlpool in the wash basin, so it sinks fast, with my toothbrush. What a bending. You watch Avatar The Last Airbender? What are you? A child. Yes. Strongest doesn't watch it, because it's for kids fan. Weakest I will watch what I like enjoyer. 